who shot you. Three decades of hip-hop photography. Joining us now is the photographer, Mr. Ernie Panicoli. Sir? Good morning. It's good, good to be morning. here. Good morning. Thank you very much. Interesting title because of the double entendre, who shot you, photography, but who shot you because so many in this world are victims of violence, gun violence. Yeah, can you guys get a shot of his shirt? I mean, this this is... Yeah. Which camera? Now, this is the man, Jam Master Jay, who was murdered. And from all accounts, he was a family man, came from kind of like a working class neighborhood, and did not advocate violence in his lyrics at all. This is a photograph, I'd like you to see this, of Jam Master Jay uh, and Run DMC. This was taken in Philadelphia in 1985, and it was them performing for Live Aid, mm -hmm. which was, of course, money to raise, uh, a benefit to raise money for Africa. So Jam Master Jay, I've known since 1985, I've had him in the studio, and my take on him was always, he was the one that always lit up a room, and when he left, the room was more somber. And in all the time since he's passed, nobody has been able to say anything bad mm -hmm. about him. So to say that, you know, oh, another bad rapper or something is insane. And this is what this book is about. It's about the energy, the love, the mystery. Sir, you, you know this. What's, what's going on? I mean, I don't want to run down the list of rap stars that have been shot and killed or shot and wounded. What, what's going well, on? Well, we just lost the Leah, but it was a plane crash. Mm -hmm. We lost uh, Left Eye from a from car TLC, accident. Yes. yes. Every day, we, we need to address a broader thing than just, you know, if a rapper or somebody in a rap community or a hip hop community gets shot or killed, automatically it puts a blanket. But we have. Oh, yeah, we hear about East Coast versus West we Coast. We have mm -hmm. priests, nuns, uh, uh, you know, nurses, doctors, scholars, students that, that are injured or shot or killed every day in this country. We need to address the root cause of violence. What we're doing now, the, the elders and the leaders of the hip hop community, we're coming together and we want to create a Stop the Violence Movement Part Two. And we want it to be throughout the United States, and we want it to be grassroots. People that are dedicated and committed to saying enough guns, enough violence. And one of the things that we have to do, and this is a challenge that I'm throwing out to the hip-hop community, is take the murders and, and the killing and the crack and all that nonsense out of your videos, out of your lyrics, okay. and out of the titles of your corporations. And, and let's start with an even playing field. And your lyrics are up to you, but the language impacts us as a community, impacts us as a nation, and that's why I did Who Shot You, is to emphasize the positive strength and the beauty, and I've been working on this for 30 years. Mm -hmm. You've got people like uh, Tupac and Eminem and Snoop Doggy Dog, and how did you get Boy, such those are access to these people? photographs. And Jay-Z with a mouthful of gold teeth. <laughs> <laughs> how did you get access? How did they let you in? They... The artists have always felt of me as a, as a member of the family. Mm -hmm. I came from a neighborhood rougher than, or as rough as any of them. Mm -hmm. And I came from a background as rough. So it was just always a one-to-one. -one. And I never looked at, at any of the elements of hip-hop as something different from me. It was always something that was so family. So were never looking down on them? No. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them were looking down on me. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, How's the book been received? I know we have to go. But the book has been received incredibly well. I've done TV, radio, everything. And for all you parents out there, if you want to know what to get your children, get them this book. Because if you get them a shirt <laughs> or get them some music, believe me, they're not going to be happy with it. So I thank you for having me on. Well, no, thank you very much. Nice to meet you. It's Ernie Panicoli, who shot you? And he has a book signing this evening at 6.30 at Caribou Books at Iverson Mall in Hillcrest Heights, Maryland. Ernie, thank you. And it, it is a good book for kids who are into that and for their parents to understand what they're about. <laughs> thank you, Ernie.